Hi guys, today's video is definitely gonna be a little bit different. It'll be short, but hopefully the message is powerful. I'll be speaking from my heart. Today was a really hard day, and I think it's important for me to be vulnerable in moments like this and be as transparent as possible because I think that when you know that someone else is going through something that you can resonate with, it makes you feel like you're not alone. And uh, that type of power is impossible to overstate. Yeah, I was waking up to my alarm this morning and, and I sat right there at the edge of my bed. And it was just hard to get up and to get going. There's been a lot going on. So I call this time of my life, like this period. Um, and I have this like once a season where it's like my most busiest time. And it's usually when it lines up with uh, final exams and certain business initiatives and they kind of accumulate together and the the workload is just um, very significant. But usually that's not necessarily that big of a deal. I I've gone through that now for quite a long time and I, I can persevere through those moments without a problem. But my heart's definitely been a little bit heavier. Um, I got some news that, that my grandmother isn't doing well. Um, she suffers from dementia and uh, it's, definitely gotten more severe and her health is, is just not in a good place, uh, to put it simply. It was very close to my grandmother cr growing up, so that, that was really tough to hear. And moreover, uh, my mom's not doing well either. She, she got uh, some health complications as well. So yeah, when I was there at the edge of my bed, just hearing these voices, I, I, maybe you can resonate with that. Um, and it's just so loud and chaotic and all I wanted to do was um, hit snooze and, and just go back to bed and just really just not do anything. But I didn't, uh, I still got up, I still went through my morning routine, except that today I spent a little bit longer with my journaling session and, and the meditation and the prayer that, that I normally do, simply because I think it's so important that when you are going through a tougher season that you don't ignore the emotions. As productive as I might seem, I'm also somebody that believes that you must be in tune with your inner dialogue. You must be mentally sound just as much as you're physically doing the things that you need to be doing. You mentally have to be there. And that's really the only way that you can um, approach your life in a healthy manner. You have to be sound both physically and mentally, but of course also spiritually as well. So I took that time to really deeply process everything that was going on. But then I closed up my Bible. I went ahead and um, got the day started. Uh, I had a few exams and um, a big presentation for my master's classes. Uh, and, and I did well, um, I was able to get through them. Um, I, I went ahead and still um, went through my business meetings. There was a lot of writing I had to do for a specific project, uh, but got all that done. I was able to speak to the nursing home and, and just really check in on my grandma. I'm not currently in a situation in which I can visit her, but in the, on the weekend I will be. But I just made sure that I could speak to her and, and just um, just be with her a little bit. Uh, through the phone. I still went to the gym and actually right now it's 11 12 p.m. And this is my last thing that I need to do which is the YouTube video I promised my team that, that, that I would get a YouTube video filmed before I go to bed today and I'm gonna follow through with that promise as well. This is all really to say that it doesn't always look pretty. Um, sometimes it's ugly but I think it's meant to be ugly right it's never meant to be so perfect. I know that sometimes when I when I post on Instagram, it, it seems like there isn't necessarily um, the emotional turmoil that perhaps uh, many of us encounter, but, but it's definitely there. And I've experienced a lot of loss as well. But this was an important day for me because um, I'm going to bed here in a little bit and I'll be able to go to bed being proud of, of the way that I was still able to follow through with the commitments that I've set out for myself. That's the message I wanna have for you guys that are listening. When it gets really hard, when it seems to be really challenging and you wanna give up on your goals, you wanna give up on your aspirations, remember your purpose. Uh, remember why you started chasing your dreams in the first place, because I guarantee that it wasn't just for you, uh, that you were trying to serve something bigger than you. And I certainly was too, and I certainly am. So I know all of my aspirations have a lot to do with my faith, have a lot to do with 
uh, my family and knowing the type of financial hardship that they that we grew up in and, and wanting to uh, be somebody that can take care of everyone that, that's close to me. I'm telling you right now, uh, I think that every single time I speak to quote unquote somebody that's successful, somebody that, that has uh, gone through the ringer, that, that um, have made a name for themselves, I've been very fortunate to be connected to some of these individuals recently. It's fascinating because all of them will come from different backgrounds. A lot of them will have even different beliefs and value systems, even ones that I don't necessarily agree with. But the one common thread that is shared amongst everyone is a mentality. And that mentality actually gives me the biggest assurance knowing that, that I'm actually on the right track. Obviously, I haven't um, had nearly as much success as uh, those individuals have um, had. But that mentality that they always speak about is this relentless one. It's, it's this never quit mindset. It's the fact that it doesn't matter what type of situation you were handed to you, follow through with what you committed to. Even nowadays, there are so many distractions, right? Um, even with our phones, you don't have to be the biggest, you don't gotta be the baddest, you don't have to be the smartest, um, you don't have to be the most gifted, but just outlast everyone else. Know that when other people perhaps are, are going through something, um, maybe it's not even what you're going through, maybe it's not even to the extent that you're going through, that, that perhaps they'll give up, that perhaps that they won't uh, be able to persevere through it, that they'll give in, that they'll fold. But that's not going to be you. That won't be you. You are powerful beyond measure, and I believe it. I truly do. Sometimes it's all about just outlasting. It's about persevering. It's about this willingness to, to take on a lot and, and even sit in the hardship and still be able to take the small steps um, towards your goals. But I made sure before I said that, that, that I told you guys about the journaling session, the meditation, and the prayer, because pushing yourself and embracing the suck, it's really important, but it's nothing if you don't take care of your own mental health as well. I'm not somebody that will ever say to ignore the emotions that you're going through, to numb it out. No, actually process it. Um, take the time to understand why it is that you're going through what you're going through. And you don't necessarily have to figure it out. You don't have to necessarily identify the uh, trigger or anything of that sort, but be okay with expressing your emotions and processing them because that's the only way, again, that you're gonna be able to progress in the right direction in a healthy manner. So yeah, if you're going through a tough time right now, I'm here, I, I resonate with you. I'm not gonna say that I know exactly what it is that you're going through, but I know that the pain and, and especially this temptation to halt what it is that we wanna go after. Uh, maybe it, it, you've experienced some failures, maybe um, some setbacks, and you just wanna, um, do what I wanted to do this morning and just give up and, and just stop, but don't do it. Um, you are so close. Sometimes in this mo in these moments, it's really all about just holding on and, and pressing forward for that much longer. I believe in you. I know that tomorrow I'm gonna wake up with the same mindset. I'm gonna make sure that I get up at the time that I wanna get up. I'm gonna make sure that I take the time to uh, process my emotions again through uh, my journaling, my prayer, my meditation. Um, probably for the same amount of time as I did today. It's gonna to be a little bit longer, but I know that I need it. And then I'm going to go ahead and execute. I know my family's counting on me. Um, I know the people that I love are counting on me. And it gives me so much joy too. As weird as that sounds, right? Like I'm, I'm still finding joy in what I do, even in the midst of all this chaos. Um, it's because it gives me such a sense uh, of purpose. It's given me so much clarity. Uh, so you're gonna make it. I know you will. But that's it for me today. I know again that this was short, but uh, hopefully the message um, you were able to receive. I love you guys and take care, okay?